In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a transparent texture like this in Blender. Here, we have used a simple plane, we did not actually create these holes, we have just added a cloth physics, and then added a transparent texture. The texture itself has holes, so we are able to see through this cloth, as if the cloth is torn or ragged. So this is how our cloth model looks like. We will first add a new material in the Materials tab, and turn on the Rendered View mode. Then in this base color, we have to select the image texture option. Let us assign a texture to this cloth that has got some transparent holes. So this is the image file that we have used as our texture, and as we can see here it has got some transparent parts created in Photoshop. So these are the parts that are supposed to be transparent here, but currently they are not showing the transparency. So let's open the shader editor here. This is our image texture node, and it has got an output called alpha, we have to connect this socket to the alpha input of the principled BSDF. However, if you are using an emission shader, you can connect the alpha value to this strength input, but it won't give us any transparency. Same as the case for diffuse BSDF, you have to mix it with a transparent BSDF, because they don't have an alpha input. And this image alpha can be used for this mixing factor. This will now give us the same transparent texture output. But for our case, since we already have an alpha input, we can directly connect this alpha here. Let's reduce the specular value slightly because it's a cloth material. While this setup works fine for cycles, for EV you'll discover that these areas are still not showing as transparent. So we have to go down the settings for this material and change one thing here. For this blend mode, we have to select either alpha clip or alpha blend. Now you'll see that the material is showing a transparent texture, and we can easily see through the holes. So this is how you can create a transparent texture, and if you want, you can assign a second material for this backside, so that the caption does not get visible on the back face. Anyway, that's all for today, and I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and join this channel.